He had the power of moonlight, and so they raised him as a girl. You must select three answers from this question. What? Please choose three. Okay. <laughs> I got it. I did. That one, that's a hard one. So we're doing a quiz here right now about how well do I know the Dark Souls lore. And there are 40 questions, quite frankly. And if I get them right, somebody's going to donate uh, 4K bits, which I believe is $40. So... Question one, before her revival, Anastasia of Astora could not hear or smell, lick her elbow, touch her toes, see or speak. She didn't have a tongue, so she probably could not lick her elbow. Depends on, depends on how much of her tongue was removed, but you know what? There you go. Incorrect. What was, what? See or speak? That, that's not, I, I take offense to that. You can't lick your elbow. If you have no tongue, he hates clerics. That was for, for right. What is the true name of the uh, Emerald Herald? Shanalot. Don't even, don't even, boyo. Oh, I got this one. What do all firekeepers have in common? They're all deaf, mute, they're all blind, they are all. They're all disabled, I suppose. Yeah, they're not mute because they speak. They're not deaf because they hear. They're not blind because. Well, Shannonlot wasn't blind, but she was a dragon, though. Ah, uh, all disabled. Correct. Which character braves the many perils of Lordran and survives despite being human and incapable of resurrection, and why? Siegelind of Katarina, to find and attempt to save her father, Siegmeier. Greeks of Vinheim, to find his idol, Big, Big Hat Logan. Shiva of the East to find the famed Chaos Blade or Solera of Astora. Isn't he? Isn't he an undead? I mean, Sigeline of Katarina. I don't think she's undead either. I think it was her. I'm not entirely certain. That was correct. Yes, okay. The old Iron King had a court of Magus by the name Salomon, Aegil, Ingi, Ven, Carthus. I think it's Salomon. Uh, I believe we fight an enemy called Salomon. I'm not entirely certain, but I, I'm guessing the first one. Incorrect. All right, then I don't know which one. Ilium Lois is a city of which province? It's not Ferossa, Lindelt. It's not Karim. It's one of these three. I'm thinking then, but it's more of a guess. I was incorrect. Which god is strongly associated with the painted world? Velka, with all of the crows and shit. Engie was driven from the Great Swamp for what reason? Claiming that Pyromancer Salomon was a fraud and attempting to kill him, creating heretical pyromancy, having been infected by the Blight Pus and fear of spreading the infection, practicing sorceries, I think creating heretical pyromancies. Yeah, I got that one. Name the three sisters of the Sable Church of Londor. It was Uria, Elfried, yeah Elfried. I think it was Liliana. Lilith is just, eh, no, I think this is the one. Correct, got it down. With whom did Gwynevar, Princess of Sunlight, depart Anolondo. The flame god Flan. He was her, uh, buddy boy. Kieran, one of Gwyn's four knights, also belonged to which order? The Warrior of Sunlight, the Way of the White, Princess God, the Lord Blades. Yeah, Lord Blade Kieran. That's, that's the title of the person. So we know that. Big Hat Logan was a famed sorcerer from which academy? Vinheim School of Sorcery, I think? <laughs> oh. Which Eastern warrior pledged servitude to the Old Iron King? That's Sir Alon. That's, that's, the, that's the boss that you fight. The demons were born of chaos due to which catastrophic event? Linking of the First Flame and the Old Iron King abusing his power. The Witch of Islith, she was the one doing the thing, right? Trying to create another one. The Dark Sun Gwyndolin was different to the others of his family for what reason? He had the uh, powers of moonlight, yes, exactly. He had the power of moonlight and so they raised him as a girl. You must select three answers from this question. What? Please choose three. Okay. <laughs> I got it. I did. That one, that's a hard one. What? 
assaulted the land of Astora. It wasn't Calamite. The demons of chaos? The evil eye? I don't know what... What assaulted Astora. I don't even know what the evil eye is. I'll do demons. No, I don't do demons. Ah, fuck it, I'll do demons. No. Archdrake sect originated from which uh, region? Shulva, the Sanctum City. Don't think so. Ilium Lois. Rosa, Shrine of Amana, Olanafir. Maybe it's the Sanctum City. Yeah, because this is where the they talk about, you know, the, the Drake Blood Knights. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Lord Gwyn had an uncle. Oh, yeah, Old Father Lloyd. Who brought about the runes of Ulasil? The inhabitants themselves, deceived by the primordial serpent Karth. Yeah, I, I bet that's the case. I'm fairly certain. None of the other people would do that. Lord Aldia was what to King Vendrick? I think it was his advisor. I mean, advisor ally. I think advisor. Was it his, was it his brother? It was either his brother or his advisor. I think it's his advisor. It could have been both, quite frankly. Oh, it was his brother. The Witch of Islith had how many daughters? Seven? Or six? Oh, it was seven. Yeah. It is said that Lothric was persuaded to forgo the linking of the first flame by a scholar. Who was this scholar? Pontiff, his brother Lorien, big at the Crystal Sage. Was it specifically the Pontiff? I'm guessing Pontiff. It it can't be any of the other ones. So is that the Pontiff or the Crystal Sage? It was the Pontiff, because he's the mastermind. What are the names of the known Shards of Manus? Go us, Nishandra, Alsana, Elena the Squalid Queen, Carla might be? Elena is the the main queen. Oh, Nishandra's the main queen. Elena is in the DLC. Alsana is in the DLC. And and Carla is kind of hinted at. So I want to see Nadalia as well. I just don't remember the, the last name of the... Because I think there's a shard of Manus in each DLC, right? At least you fight the queen. Okay, I'll go with Nadalia as well. I don't know. Correct. I got him. I did. I got him. From where did Pontiff Sullivan originate? It, it kind of came from the, the painted world. Knight Artorius has brought a unique item with him to Ulysil to aid him against the dark sorcery of Manus. What was it? The Crest of Artorius. I suppose since they mentioned the dark sorcery, I'm guessing it's the Silver Pendant. Yeah. From what reason was Gwyn's firstborn child stripped from the annals of history? He voted for the wrong political party. He sided with the dragons. They attempted to overthrow Gwyn and usurp the linking of the flame, or they were birthed illegitimately. Well, I don't think they really fucking cared. Fucking, fucking Gwyn fucked a bunch of different things. You can tell by the fact that Dark Sun Gwyndolin has snake legs. But he sided with the dragons in the war. That, that's, that's, uh, that's a big betrayal and a social faux pas. Seek betrayed what secret about the kin to the great lord? Oh, well, that was probably the crystal was the source of their immortality and the weakness to lightning. No, the arch tree was the source of their, their favorite genre of music was pop. The, the stone scales were the source of their immortality and the weakness to lightning. Exactly. I don't think that their favorite genre of music was pop. I feel like, I feel like that is, that's fine. What effect do the Pontiff Eye Ring have on their wearers? Grant extend lifespan, transforms wearers into beasts. That's one. Yeah, yeah, it transforms them into beasts. And a bunch of other things as well. Who was the last protector of the illusion of Guinevere in Anolondo? Ornstein and Smo. This question has been brought up the uh, up debate. This question has brought up debate. Therefore, I changed the answer options. Yeah, well, it's 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 easy. I suppose that maybe Dark Sun Gwyndolin was an option, and you could say that he was the one who did it, but yeah. Who carried a small doll with them before being transported into a cold and lonely world? That's Priscilla, one of the big waifu, everybody. Kirk, Knight of Thorns, was in servitude of which individual? The Fair Lady. You know, the sexy spider woman. Everybody wants to get, get in with that, even though she's like riddled with disease. Who is the woman found in the undead settlements that dry, drive Grey Rat to risk his life event, uh, scavenging around Lothric? Well, that's Loretta. She was already dead. She was already dead. You find her bone. Kind of questionable how you can tell 
that it's Loretta by her actual bones? What did Aldrich, Saint of the Deep, envision before determining to devour the gods themselves? Uh, the coming age of the deep sea. Yes, that's what I think the good dark would be. The deep sea. Which of the four founders of the Lord Souls? Nito, first of the dead, the witch of Isolith, the furtive pygmy, and Gwyn, Lord of Sunlight. Yeah, got that one down as well. Yorm the Giant, respected by distrust, respected the distrust of his subjects by doing what? Forsook his shield and gifted it to those that doubted him so they may protect themselves. Sacrificed him to the profane flame in order to subdue it. Departed from the profane capital only to return once more upon the arrival of the bell toll. Gifted the storm ruler to those that doubted him and another to his dear friend. I mean, he forsook his shield and gifted it to those who doubted him. I know that they gave the ma- He gave another to a dear friend, but was that specifically what- I'm gonna go with that one though. Oh, that was- that was a little lucky. Because I thought maybe he gave away his shield, but no, he just- He got super angry when he was fighting with the- uh, without the shield. Prince Lorien battled against what creature that led to the scorching of his blade? That was the demon prince. Not even difficult. I got this. I'm such a fucking genius! You know what, Vardy? How about you go and sit your ass down on the toilet? I'm taking over. I'm stealing your channel. I am the new lore master. Ocelot Osiris, youngest Ocelot. Osiris' youngest child was supposedly born of what? Dragons. He says it all the time. What is the source of Prince Lorien's affliction? He was born mute and crippled. No, he shared the curse. He vowed to leave it the brother's curse and, uh, and to share it with him. Yes. For what reason did Lord Gwyn link the first flame? Because he thought cursing all of humanity and bringing about an endless cycle would be funny. <laughs> his barbecue had stopped working to keep his toes warm or to extend the age of fire and to ensure humanity did not rise to power. Yeah. That is correct. 88%. You know a hell of a lot of Dark Souls lore, and if you haven't played all the three, well, even bigger kudos to you, friend. Still, you're among the most knowledgeable in the community. I mean, I should have gotten one more correct. The first one... The first one, she couldn't lick her elbow. I thought it was going to be a little bit more meme -y, but... But yeah, yeah, yeah. Very close.